Hi guys, Andy here. Uh, I've been enjoying my larger devices recently. I've got the Oppo N1 at Christmas. Um, I've then moved on to the Note 3, which is probably my daily user. Um, but I've got another large device today, which um, some of you may have clicked on this video thinking, what on earth is Andy doing? As you'll probably be aware, for the last three or four years I've been doing Android videos. And today, I've got a Nokia Lumia 1520. Um, this has all been made possible by the good people at Clove, clove.co.uk. Do check them out. Um, I just thought to myself, it'd be quite interesting to, to try a Windows phone, basically. I never have. So I thought I would bring to you guys the Android user's viewpoint on Windows phone. Um, some of you might be curious like me. A lot of people think very highly of Windows phone. Um, it doesn't have a massive market share, but it's gradually growing. Um, and a lot of people swear by Nokia, particularly their cameras. So uh, I thought, well, you know, I'll give it a go, basically. Um, and of course, make a video for you guys sharing my thoughts. So, without further ado, let's crack on. So, here we go. It's not sort of sealed in the usual way, but then it is, it's going to be a, um, a review unit that I've sent me. As you can see, it's not uh, pristine. I didn't actually realise, I basically looked at what's the most recent sort of high-end Windows phone. I didn't realise actually there was such a huge device, and wow, that is that is a, a hefty old size. Um, I think it's a six-inch screen in total. So let's um, just have a look first of all at the contents of the box. So we've got the SIM tool. Um, an inst instruction manual. Oh, I didn't realise I didn't realise I turned it on, but apparently I have. So it gives us a few basics, how to put the SIM card in. That appears to be all, all that's in the box there. Uh, and then the fairly standard sort of charger. I do like these sort of the ones that compact themselves, that's quite nice. And the USB cable and the regular micro USB connection, so that's good. It would work with all the chargers I've been using for my Android phones. Uh, stop all that out of the way. So, SIM error apparently. That's fine. And also the battery is critically low. I wonder how critical or critically low is. Let's get started. Now again, I know a lot of people like to know what device, uh, what languages are available, so I'll show, slowly scroll through those. Appears to be quite a lot. Seems smooth and slick. Windows phones, terms of use. Whatever. Set up your phone. Um, well, I suppose let's look at the custom settings. The screen does look very good. The the white text on the black background. Actually, I've I've, I've shut off into uh, setting up without looking around the actual device, have I? So what's okay? So let's have a look what we've got. I've got a power button. I'm going to guess that might be a separate camera button. It didn't do anything when I pressed it just now, but maybe once we're uh, once we're into using it, it will fire up the camera and I assume volume up and down the one side. With a micro USB connection on the bottom and I think the microphone there. Um, we've got some very faint looking, I didn't really notice if they lit up or not. I think we've got a back arrow, a Windows key and a search key. Capacitive. Oh, that's interesting. Now, is that a SIM card slot and a micro SD card slot? Let's see if we can have a look. Oh, that's spring loaded. Very good. I uh, think that might be micro SD. Micro SD, sorry. Yeah, and that looks. That's a bit more like SIM. 
Okay, pull them back in carefully. Um, I guess the speaker down here, look at the base. We've got the 20 megapixel camera with the Carl Zeiss lens. It looks like a dual flash there, look. Some buttons, I don't know where the holes are just at the top there. There's the uh, headphone jack at the top. I think front facing camera. Top left, Nokia emblem and obviously the earpiece. It's all around, it's quite a nice, quite a nice stylish design. It worries me it almost looks a little bland, but um, but you know, fine, it looks nice. Right, so I wanted to grab my Note 3 so we could have a quick comparison size-wise. Um, you can see clearly the 1520 is larger. If we're trying to line up the screens, there's a, the Note 3 does have a thinner bezel at the base, but then at the top, they're quite similar if I line those up. Uh, Weight-wise, I believe the Note 3 was about 100 and, 168 grams, maybe. Uh, the 1520 is 209 grams. The rest of the specs on it, we have a... 1920 by 1080 screen, 6 inch screen, which is 367 pixels per inch. Certainly, certainly very good. Uh, Corning Gorilla Glass 2 um, protects the screen. Uh, the processor is the Snapdragon 800. The GPU is the Adreno 330. So very similar to the Note 3 um, and the Galaxy S4, I believe. I've mentioned already the 20 megapixel camera with the Carl Zeiss optics and optical image stabilization dual LED flash. Um, it can only record at 1080p though, unlike the Note 3 that can record um, 4K. So, now, I don't actually know what I'm doing at this point with a Windows phone. Um, yeah, that looks fine to me. Um, yeah, why not? Connecting to what? Right, I better connect up to Wi Fi, but within a second. There we go. Next, keep your life in sync. Now, oh, I think I do have a. Alright, one second again. With Microsoft account, you can automatically. Now, one thing I've noticed just now, sign in was the right hand side button, but now, look, the yes is the left hand side button. I'm going to say yes, I think. I don't know. Almost done. Um. Next, we'll walk you through setting up your phone's activation. I don't want to join that. No, move on. Whoa. Nokia Pro Camera. Full resolution photos, high resume, creative control. Wants me to open the camera itself now. Okay. Hello. Start shooting with Nokia Pro Camera. A few easy steps. Swipe to start. I should probably quite. Oh, I didn't read. Wait, whoa, hang on, away. Um, is it looping the same thing? Simply, simply going. Creative control. Simply going. Okay, okay. Full res review. Why so fast? Let me read what you're saying. Go on, Bennett. Full res review and reframe. Reframe. Camera roll. Okay. I don't know if you know what that means. Switch to video. Okay, we kind of roll it up. Okay, that's fine. Slide to zoom. Well, in the actual. Okay. Open like a smart camera, cinemagraph, and. Okay, I think. I'm ready to shoot some great photos. Yeah, whatever. So, let's take a snap of my keyboard. Look. Is that focused? It's not like it's focused. Did that take a picture? No. That does look a very nice picture. Let me bring that back. I would say that's very clear. 
I don't know where that is. Am I cropping there, am I? No, come back. Um, so yeah, that's easy enough to switch. I mean, I quite like ones that have both buttons. I mean, why not? Why would you need to? But it's not too bad. Right, so what was that one? Oh, so that is... No? I didn't take that picture. So what's... Uh, What's the difference? Oh, that is literally just the last picture. Why would you do that? Why would you have two different... Hmm, okay. What's that button do? Nokia Cinema... Oh. Okay. Take picture, holding phone steady. How... how... I presume I'm most <laughs> supposed to have things that are moving. Yeah. I can animate the logo. What can I do the logo? Anyway, let's not let's draw to add animate less not worry too much. No. So yeah, I need to find some something moving. Okay, so I don't know how long the battery's gonna last at this point, but uh what do we see? What are we, I'm gonna, have I got a text message? Um, I don't really know what's happening here. Let's come back out. Um, I've got a calendar, obviously. Agenda to do. Okay, is that a month view? Yeah. Okay. Um, who's that handsome fellow? What's he doing? That? Excuse me. Was that my? Is that my Twitter? Hotmail. Okay. Um, kids corner games. Okay, so I think clearly I need to just try and figure out what on earth I'm doing within this operating system. Um, app highlights. Okay, but is that that's not the actual app store, though, is it? I presume. Where is uh, the app store? I see, I've got an update. What's my update for? Oh, I apologize. Go on then. Um, so, clearly, I need to spend a bit of time with this operating system to try and understand how, how on earth it works, basically. Never having used it before. My intention is to try and use it for a week. Um, whether or not I'll last, whether or not I can, I don't know. We'll see. Um, I may just get too frustrated because I don't know what I'm doing, but I'll give it a crack. Um, I'll try and get some obviously some sample photos, some sample videos, some video tests and comparisons perhaps. Um, and uh, obviously subscribe to my channel if you already aren't to see some of those. And then I will try and do a review if I figure out... Um, I can never your car. Anyway, so there we have it thus far. Oh, yeah, I was going to check if that button actually does do the camera. Yeah, it does. And is it the is it the shutter release as well? It certainly would appear to be. Okay. Well, first impressions. It certainly seems a nice enough device. It's nice and smooth. The screen, I think, does look very very good. Um, very brief initial look at the camera does look pretty fantastic. Oh, there we go, there's one the apps looking at. To me that's a bit easier than that, but I'm sure I'll get used to get used to it. Um, so an Android user's point of view 
on a Windows Mobile. How exciting! My name's Andy, I'll catch you all again soon. <laughs> <laughs>